Hi, welcome to Storytime with Susan. We are starting a new book today, and it is A to Z Mysteries, The Deadly Dungeon. The A to Z Mysteries um, is a series of books where the first letter of the story uh, represents a letter of the alphabet. So, the letter of the alphabet is D, um, and that stands for deadly. So, D is for deadly. So, let's get started with our new book with chapter one. Here is a map. It's a very detailed map. Let's get started. Dink squirmed in his seat. He, Josh, and Ruth Rose had been riding the bus since seven that morning. They were on their way to Maine to visit their friend, Wallace Wallace a famous mystery writer. The three of them had met her when she came to Green Lawn. Dink smiled when he remembered how they had rescued Wallace from a kidnapper. Dink glanced over at Josh, asleep in his seat. His sketch pad was open on his lap. Behind Josh, Ruth Rose was looking at a map. She liked to dress in one color. Today, it was green, from her t-shirt to her high tops. Dink moved into the seat next to Ruth Rose. Where are we, he asked. Almost there, she pointed to Belfast, Maine on her map. We just passed a welcome to Belfast sign. Dink nodded. That was where Wallace was picking them up. Ruth Rose tucked her map into her pack. I'm so excited, she said. Do you think her castle has a moat and a dungeon? I just hope it has food, Dink said. I'm starving. Josh's head popped up in front of them. Me too. Are we there yet? Just then, the bus driver called out. Belfast. All right, Josh said, leaping into the aisle. The bus stopped in front of a small gray shingled building. Through the window, Dink could see the water. Do you see Wallace? Ruth Rose asked. Dink grabbed his pack. No, but let's get off. I think I'm allergic to buses. The kids headed for the front. They follow followed an elderly couple down the steps. They were squinting into the blinding sunlight when they heard someone say, Hi, kids. A tall man with curly blonde hair was walking toward them. His face was tanned and smiling. I remember you. You're Wallace's brother, Ruth Rose said. Call me Walker. Okay, said the man. Wallace is buying groceries, so she asked me to get you. Walker Wallace picked up Dink's pack. It clunked heavily against his leg. What's in here? Your rock collection? He asked. Dink grinned. Books. My mom said it rains a lot in Maine, so I came prepared. Walker laughed. We've planned perfect weather for you guys. Sun every day. Come on. That's my Jeep over there. Walker's dusty brown Jeep had no top. The leather seats were worn and split in places. He swept a pair of boots and a tool belt onto the floor, making room in the back seat. Pile in. The boys climbed into the back. Ruth Rose sat next to Walker. How far is the castle? She asked. Not far, Walker pointed. About a mile past those trees. He drove up the coast. You guys hungry? Sis is buying everything in the store for you. I'm always hungry, Josh said, leaning back and crossing his legs. He took a deep breath of the ocean air. What a smell. 
I'll say, Dink said. Get your smelly foot out of my face. It's not smelly, Josh said, wiggling his sneaker under Dink's nose. What's that? Dink plucked a bright green feather off the sole of Josh's sneaker. Josh shrugged. I must have picked it up on the bus. Dink slipped the feather into his pocket. There's Moose Manor, Walker called. He pointed through the trees. Dink stared at the tall castle. It was built of huge gray stones. Its small dark windows looked like watching eyes. An iron fence surrounded the building. Cool, Dink said softly. Look guys, a moat, Ruth Rose said. And a drawbridge, cried Josh. Walker pulled up in front of the, of the gate. The kids hopped out with their packs. I have to get back to my boat, Walker said. Sis should be here soon. Have fun. He waved and sped back through the trees. Up close, the castle towered over the kids. The battlements on top reminded Dink of giant's teeth. Josh pushed the gate and it creaked open. They peered down into the moat. Ruth Rose let out a laugh. Look, guys. The bottom of the empty moat was planted with flowers. Hey, guys, Josh called. Check this out. He had crossed the drawbridge and was standing in front of an enormous wooden door. He tugged on the handle, but the door wouldn't budge. How the heck does Wallace get in? Just then, Dink heard a car. A red Volkswagen convertible zoomed up to the gate. The horn tooted, and a hand waved wildly. It's Wallace, shouted Dink. So, what do you think so far? Would you like to live in a castle with a moat and a drawbridge? I think it would be pretty interesting. Well, check out my next video for Chapter 2. As always, like and subscribe, and have a good day.